Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. So in this video, we will learn how to merge in Power Query. So let's get started. We will use PQ6 Merge and we have one Excel workbook that is Merge in Power Query. So let's open this. So here you can see that in this particular Excel workbook, you have two sheets, actual and budget. And in these two sheets, we have two tables, actual one table, which is in the actual sheet and budget two table, which is in budget sheet. So the priority for the user should be to bring the tables instead of sheets. So I will check mark on actual one and budget two tables. And let's go to the transform data to merge these two tables and get the desired outcome. So I will click on transform data. Now what we are required to do is, as you can see here in the actual table, we have four columns, month, category, product and actual sales. And we have another table which is of budget. Again, we have four columns in that budget table as well, month, category, product and budgeted sales this time. So in actual, we have actual sales and in a budget, we have the budgeted sales, budgeted sales for each of the month, category and product all together. So how are we going to do that? You can assume that if you have used Excel, so you can assume that you are doing a kind of a lookup. But here, what we're going to build, but here, uh, the best part from the Microsoft is that uh, we don't write to write anything or any kind of SQL code here. We just need to select the right kind of a join and Power Query will do that for us. So let's get begin. Uh, I will go to the home tab here and here you can see a feature or a button that is called merge queries. So we will select merge queries as new so that a new table could be made and we can combine actual and budget together. So now on the first, on the top side, we have the actual one table already selected and here we will select budget two. Remember that the table which is on top selected is, is the left side and the downwards is the right side. And we need to select a right kind of a join. So by default in this particular video, we are going with the left outer join. Left outer join means that all the fields which are available in the actual table will get match itself in the budgeted table and if it, if it matches it will fetch the budgeted sales numbers in the new table okay so it says that all from the first matching from the second right but before that we have to also select the criteria that how gonna actual table will match itself in the budget table so for doing that because we know that the month column has some duplicates the category has duplicates and product has also some might be duplicate so uh, if you know the excel in excel if you use the vlookup or index match uh, it, it also does not handle the duplicate scenario where it just return the first occurrence so to overcome with that limitation in power query what we do is we will select these three columns first month category and product and you can observe that when i just selected these three columns by pressing the control and left mouse key a small number has been written on the right side of each of the title this means that my selection sequence and i have to follow this particular sequence right straight away in the budget table as well. I, I can't do that I select product first here and then category in the middle or month at the last. I need to make sure that the sequence which I have selected, the columns which I have selected in the actual table should remain same in the budget table. So once I have selected these three columns uh, and I am doing the left outer join, so what it will do is it will basically transaction by transaction matches from this actual table and find out that if they, these are available in the budgeted table and if available, so we will get our desired actual and sales numbers, budget sales numbers. So now I will press OK and before pressing OK, you can see that it says that the selection matches 857 of 858 rows from the first table. So this means might be possible that we have don't made one budget which are present in the actual table. Okay, so let's press OK. And let's see what it comes. Okay, so now we have a new table which is of merge one. Uh, we can just rename that table as uh, consolidated or anything, any word you would like to give. Consolidated, okay. 
and uh, you can see here we have the month column category product actual sales is available now we want the budgeted sales in this column so you can see that a table 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 is written here we want just budget numbers from the budget table so on top right side you can see a, a small icon which has two arrows left and right side i will just click on this option and i will only select the budget sales which i need to bring from the budget table and i will uncheck this feature that is use original column name as prefix and i will press ok now see how easy it is instead of doing some kind of complex vlookups or index match in excel what you can do is you can uh, just merge two different tables and get your desired outcome based on kind of a join which you select so we we got that on the first january 2015 in the categories of beverages the product is chai we have the actual number as well as we have the budgeted numbers once you have done this you can just click on close and apply and the data get ready in the power bi to do further analytics thank you